Did Jalen Brunson really turn down $100 million with his new contract? Jalen Brunson has agreed to a contract extension with the Knicks, sparking debate on whether he should have waited for more money. When Brunson joined the Knicks, his four-year, $104 million deal was seen as a steal. He became a star at Madison Square Garden. Now, he's agreed to a new four-year, $156.5 million contract extension. Surprisingly, this is considered another bargain deal. Reports suggest Brunson gave up $113 million by signing now. Waiting until next season could have made him eligible for a five-year, $269 million deal. While $269 million is a flashy number, it's not entirely realistic. Brunson will still make $26 million next season on his existing contract. The new deal starts in 2025-26, offering a 40% raise on his 2024-25 salary, with annual 8% increases. Waiting could have netted him $37.1 million more by 2027-28. By signing now, Bronson sets himself up to opt out after the 2027-28 season. By then, he can sign for 35% of the salary cap, which will continue to grow. Assuming a 10% annual increase in the NBA salary cap, Bronson could sign a 5-year Supermax in 2028 worth $417.85 million. This means Brunson is on track to earn a significant amount while giving the Knicks financial flexibility. He also gets guaranteed money now. Regardless of his future performance, Brunson will make $156.5 million from this deal, adding to his career earnings of about $60 million. While waiting could have earned him more, it comes with risks like potential injuries or a decline in performance, impacting future contracts. In the NBA, sometimes the safest move is taking the guaranteed money. Bronson's decision reflects this wisdom, and it's hard to fault him for it.